Hello guys, today we got the box office here, and before that we have some good news. It seems that YouTube has ended the random pointless demonetizations, even though most of those videos I uploaded did not violate any YouTube ad things. It seems that YouTube at least is starting to wake up and realize that it's pointless. But now we're going over the box office, this. And while we're covering Friday box office, even though we never do, and that's because the Eternals opened the 40 million. Yeah. Everybody, especially the fan of Mads, was expecting this movie to underperform. Form. You know, just because Juan Tomatoes says a movie is bad doesn't mean the fans say a movie is bad. And you know what the funny thing is? That it just proves that the, I don't really care for the Eternals, but this does prove the fan of Mads is a bunch of hypocrites because they act like they're the only Marvel fans out there. They act like they're the only ones that exist, which is untrue. So yeah, we have the Eternals, which was pulled from Middle East as well. It has made $69 million worldwide, which is pretty abysmal, <laughs> 69 because it needs to make $400 million to break even. The fan of Mads, you know, old will probably say, oh, it needs $500 million to break even, or some stupid number like that, but, you know, you know, now, because he's going to, so he could push, because he's the main one who puts the Black Widow flops now to the wrong side with Yellow Flash too, and they're like basically the main ones who push the whole Black Widow was a flop narrative, which is untrue, but the Eternals made $69 million at the box office. It is a movie that I don't plan seeing, but a lot of people, a lot of Marvel fans, even though they might be just bought but used by Disney, the Wake of Cruella, well, remember that movie? Uh, nobody? Okay. But yeah, the Eternals made $69 million domestically. No, that's domestically. Worldwide. And we can compare this to other movies that are released this year. So the obvious movies you can compare it to is Black Widow, Sing C, and Venom, and F9, which are the highest openings of the year. Yeah, F9. Why won't so F9? And F9, the Fast Saga. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Eternals is actually slightly overperforming Sang C. By slightly, but Venom opened with 47 million and still made 90 million. That's the key here, okay? Venom still made more money than Black Widow because of its massive Saturday pool. Then you have movies like F9, this movie is performing more like F, if this, it really depends on how this movie performs the second week. If it makes like 45 million, it does not drop on the second weekend like Sing C did, Black Widow did, and F9 did, it will likely outperform Sing C. But if it drops like Sing C did, and it does even worse than Sing C on Saturday, and on Sunday, it does even, that's like Black Widow, it will do worse than Sing C and Black Widow, which will be the key. It really depends on how it performs in the next two days. If Ma if people really say the Atonals is as great as it is on IMDb, and you know, not Ron Tomatoes, that's, that, like, but Letterboxd, and of course on YouTube, and of course, especially on Metacritic, then this movie should have good ratings. But again, it's proven with movies like Dune, which came out. You yeah, know, Dune made... For it. This is Dune's wigs, and everybody said Dune was an amazing movie, and this is the wigs of Dune. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if the Phantom Mass review bombs for the Eternals comes in, because the Phantom Mass are slow with the reviews. Yeah, and usually in movies they get like they get a very high score, like Birds of Prey got a 7.1, and it continued to drop, especially after the Phantom Mass started putting all the reviews in as well. And yeah, that's basically about this video. Goodbye.